viewers is people who want to watch that kind of thing. Also, that was a sick lick. So hello gamers, I haven't made a long Phantom Forces video in quite a while. Later in this video, I'll talk about why, but today we're going to be talking about the five best shotguns in Phantom Forces. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So at number five, I actually have an interesting pick. It's the KSG-12. This does not have a setup. Recently, this gun did get a buff. It got better RPM and it got a little bit better spread. Not only is this gun rank one, so you basically get it within like four kills when you start the game. It also just has a very nice one tap where when you're in close range, it will one shot. It doesn't have the greatest one tap range or anything, but when you're in close range, as you can see, it is great. The fact that it has 14 and a plus one, so 15 bullets, lots of reserve ammo, pretty fast RPM, especially for a pump action. It is just great. And while I don't think it's the best shotgun in the game, I'd say overall, it probably deserves at this point a spot on the list, which is very nice considering people were kind of scared of it getting a buff since it has such a massive capacity and can have up to 25. So if it was actually like super broken in any other way, it would be kind of unbalanced because a lot of bullets on a shotgun, not very nice for a pump action. You know, if it had like a great one tap range in 25 rounds, it would be scary. But now it actually just performs pretty well. It has much faster RPM than something like Remington 870 in case 23M, which means for a pump action, it's actually going to be a little bit faster. And the damage is also really good. The pellet damage is 32 and it has eight pellets, which is pretty normal. A four pellet kill, but it does have more of an opportunity to three pellet kill, which some of the other shotguns just don't have that. So yeah, that's why this is number five. I don't think it's necessarily going to be that much better than other stuff, but it is going to be definitely worth checking out. So now at number four, we have the Spaz 12. The reason I don't think the Spaz 12 is anything too insane is because for semi-auto, it's kind of just like a Saiga or a DBV 12. And for pump action, it's kind of just a Remington 870 type thing. And while it does both of those roles pretty good, I just don't find it to be super great at any one particular thing. It has pump action and semi-auto. Pump action is a built-in attachment, which is very nice. I just don't really find it to be that amazing. A lot of people do like the gun and I do like it myself. It's just not my favorite shotgun. And overall, it's definitely going to be a top tier shotgun, but in my opinion, not the best in the game. It has less RPM by default than the DBV-12, although because of the spread and the effect that it does have pump action, it's probably just better than the DBV, especially with 410 kind of being gone. And for the normal shotgun purpose, this is very, very good. And the fact that with pump action, this thing has amazing spread. And even in general, it has really, really good spread. And it single loads, which is very, very fun as well. So overall, I'd say it's slightly better than the DBV at this point. It's not necessarily the best shotgun in the game, at least in my opinion. Some people will say it is the best shotgun in the game. But in my opinion, I don't think it really is because there are a couple of shotguns that do kind of what it does, but a little bit better. It's really up to your interpretation of like which guns are really, really good. So let me know in the comments if you guys like this one more personally. I just don't really find it to be the best shotgun in the entire game, but it's really going to be up there, you know? At number three, of course, we have the Saiga 12. This has got to go on the list. It has 350 RPM. This isn't necessarily the best setup on the gun. I don't know why I'm using an EOTech. But yeah, for the regular shotguns, this is the highest RPM by default of any of them, except if you count the USAS, but I don't think that counts as a regular shotgun, you know what I'm saying? It has 350 RPM and eight round mag. And if you really think about it, you may as well just use this over something like the USAS, which just does awful damage. Because not only can this one tap pretty effectively, as you can see, it also shoots very fast, so it's pretty nice. It's like 28 damage a pellet, which it doesn't sound that great, but when you really think about it, it's still a four pellet kill. The KSG is a four pellet kill. The Spaz 12 is a four pellet kill, so it doesn't really matter. The spread isn't as great, but it's still really good. And since you only have to hit half your pellets, it's going to be a pretty effective one tap. And even when it's not necessarily going to be, which it usually is in close range, if you're pretty good, you can still spam. So it doesn't really matter that much. Do not use full auto conversion. It doesn't increase your RPM. It just makes the gun worse in like pretty much every way. But as you can see, this is arguably going to be the best shotgun in the game as well. I'd still say it's definitely better than the Spaz because of just how fast it shoots and the fact that it's still really effective in terms of one tapping. And there's also the fact that it has a bunch of different conversions. 762 is kind of a cool AK type gun. 308 is kind of decent, I guess. It can three shot to the torso at any range, which is pretty nice. And 223 is just a big mag. Doesn't really matter too much. Lachette and all those attachments are not that great. So my setup would probably just be like Delta, muzzle brake, green laser, green laser, which is usually going to be my setup on most shotguns, especially since the chokes are kind of eh with the damage that they give you at range just being awful. I mean, the damage of shotguns at range after the update anyway is just kind of trash, but I just don't find the chokes to be that 
that effective. And so I don't usually use them on most of my shotguns. Well, I don't really use a lot of shotguns after the update. Not because they got nerfed or anything, but I kind of just passed my phase of using shotguns. You could probably still tell that the shotguns are extremely powerful in this game because, you know, Phantom Force's shotguns, they're known for being really powerful. I just don't find them to be a ton of fun, at least for me anymore. I've kind of just gone into a more sniper heavy class, which is usually what I do. And of course, quite a bit of autos, but just not many shotguns. But I'm going to be real like the shotguns. They are extremely fun to use and extremely powerful. So yeah, the Saiga is really going to be up there, as you can probably tell. You can just absolutely rip through people. And the fact that it has a better reload time now, even though it doesn't do as great damage and it has worse spread than it used to, it's actually kind of better because the reload time isn't so atrociously bad. That was the main thing that made the DVV kind of a little bit in some ways better. But it's really up to you. I'd say the Saiga 12 is definitely going to be better, though, because of the RPM difference. But for number two, we have the KS. S23M. Now you're probably confused because you're like, this has got to be the best one in the game, right? Well, yes and no. The KS 23M is extremely powerful and you could still say it is the best. However, there is one shotgun that I just find to be really good in every regard, but I will talk about the KS 23M. It does do pretty much the highest damage, except for like double barrels of any shotgun in the game. It does 37 to the body in close range, so it will only require three of its eight pellets, which is crazy. That's like 40% of its pellets to hit. So actually, like 35 no it's about 40 percent regardless it doesn't require as many pellets to hit and it has way better spread than other shotguns so better damage better spread it just one taps a lot more it does shoot extremely slow but it just does damage so it doesn't really matter too much if you're hitting your shots it's going to be a really effective one tap it's also just extremely powerful sounding yeah it has a three and a plus one so four rounds in the chamber and it just doesn't shoot super fast but don't let them make you not use the gun because it's just so powerful it just doesn't really matter too much. Of course, it's not going to one tap to 150 studs anymore, and birdshot is just completely removed, which is really nice because birdshot was so broken on it. So it's a lot better than it used to be, but it's still extremely powerful. And if you want a really high damage shotgun, then use this one because it's the most powerful long range shotgun in the entire game. Probably still going to be better than something like the DT11 Pro, especially with the short barrel being nerfed. The DT11 could have been like number one before, but now I'm just going to give it probably just maybe number six maybe just behind the others but kind of hard to rank the shotguns to be honest a lot of them just do really specific stuff that you can't really say oh this one's great at this one thing because like it, one of them is supposed to do one specific thing like the double barrels of course they're not gonna have a big mag or you know anything like that but that's not their point the point is that they have two bullets you know that's the thing about a double barrel either way though the ks23m it's great it has so much reserve it has tiny magazine and such slow rpm that you will never run out of bullets and it will always kill it'll be a one tap in close range like 95 percent of the time and up to like 100 studs it will probably one tap more often than not but not all the time it used to be pretty much all the time but now it's going to be a little bit less effective at like medium ranges however it will still usually one tap and if you're not going to hit one shot it's probably going to two shot which isn't really too bad with like 65 rpm if you think about it since a lot of snipers aren't going to be a torso kill at the ranges that this will be probably a two shot they have about the same rpm and this is just easier to hit stuff with. so yeah but now we have the number one spot, which won't be as good as the KS-23M for Dunes, but is overall the best shotgun in the game. It is the Remington 870. The reason the Remington 870 is just so incredibly cracked is because there's not really a lot of reasons not to use it. It does 34 damage per pellet, which makes it a three pellet kill. The spread is really nice as well. It fires pretty fast. It reloads pretty fast. It has a pretty nice tube holding six or seven rounds. It has a fast walk speed, fast aim speed. It does pretty good damage at range. It has a pretty decent one tap range there's not a lot of reasons to not use this gun because it just does everything really well like there's not a lot of stuff it just doesn't do I'm sure it doesn't have the rpm of something like the saiga or the one hit kill range of the ks23m but it just does everything it doesn't really have any noticeable downside it fires pretty fast has good damage one hit kill range everything like that it just does normally and it doesn't have any downside and the fact that it has a three pellet kill now makes it extremely easy to one tap with which just makes it extremely powerful it's also ranked like 16 no it's rank 11 or something stupid it's super low rank which means you can immediately just pull this thing out and probably pop off the only thing that makes it kind of not as great as the ksg is of course slightly less rpm like half the rounds but the ksg just has such a big magazine that you can't really expect from most shotguns and this has a pretty nice one six or seven like that's not a problem at all compared to like three so yeah i really recommend this gun there just isn't really a lot of reasons to not be using this gun if you just want an overall shotgun check this one out i recommend this one over literally everything else because it just does everything really well that's not even counting the fact 
fact that it's literally like rank 10, so you don't even have to try to get it. You can get it in like one day if you're pretty good. So yeah, that's why I really recommend this gun. It's just gonna do you well in every regard, and you know, it's not as well as some aspects of something like the kiss 23m or saiga but it's really good just use it it's great so that's why that's number one you know number five was ksg and that's just because it's got a big mag number four was the spaz because it just does a couple of really nice things and it's overall pretty good next up you had the saiga and that's because it shoots so fast ks 23m was the damage and this one is literally just everything yeah but if you guys did enjoy though that's going to do it for the actual talking about the gun segment but i recommend you check out this part of the video because i will be talking about why i have not been uploading as long videos. You could call it like burnout, I guess, but I just really haven't been enjoying Phantom Forces quite as much, and I really like the game, I just have been enjoying some other games. And I've also been extremely busy, so that's why I've had to upload some shorter videos. But when I want to make my longer videos, it's usually just on Phantom Forces videos, which is because Phantom Forces is fine, but I do like playing other games. And I did talk about that in other videos as well, but I wanted to address it after not uploading as long Phantom Forces videos, but hopefully I will be able to make some longer videos. The reason I say hopefully is because if I feel like it, YouTube is extremely self-paced, you know, you can't really force yourself to do something too much. I mean, you can for a while, but then you'll just burn out and never want to do YouTube again, so I don't want to do that. I want to take it slow, but I also want to make some Phantom Forces videos because, you know, that's the majority of my viewers is people who want to watch that kind of thing. Also, that was a sick flick. That's a brief explanation. You know, I'm not quitting Phantom Forces, clearly, because I'm still uploading videos on it, but hopefully I will be making some more Phantom Forces videos in the near future, as in, like, the next few days and stuff, and continue to go for a while and longer ones. I want to make some longer videos. Hopefully I can stream as well, but I don't know. If time permits, I will do that, but maybe not. But yeah, gamers, if you guys did enjoy, that is top five shotguns and Phantom Forces. If you want to see some more top five videos, let me know in the comments which category I should do. I don't know which one I want to do next, so please tell me in the comments and maybe I'll pin your comment or maybe I'll actually do the one that you suggested. So yeah, make sure to like and sub though if you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.